look in a picture of Johnny Cash when he was about 20 some odd years old before he started wearing black. Now, this is an actual picture that somebody took backstage somewhere and uh, they actually made a poster of it. This is not one that's been put in, the, in uh, print, but uh, a few of these were made. I actually bought this one off the internet. I got a bunch of lights in the background, but anyway, I want to tell you a little bit about Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash uh, was born in Chesterfield. He's not born in Chesterfield County, but his bloodline comes out of Chesterfield County, the Hearst and the Riverses, and uh, a lot of music in that background. Johnny Cash was a man, they said he had an IQ of over 160 something high. So he's a really smart, uh, intelligent fella. Anyway, he was a great musician, great songwriter, and he just stems right out of Chesterfield County. And that's just right here where we're at now, where we live at, and we're kind of proud of him. A lot of kin folks of Johnny Cash comes in here, gets haircuts. And I had had this picture in here, and we talk talk a good bit about him. And uh, uh, he still makes number one songs right now. As a matter of fact, this song overseas was uh, number one a year ago. I saw it on the chart. So. Uh, he's just uh, prolific in his uh, abilities. I think he'll be right there with uh, just like uh, Elvis or any of the rest of them. You know, he'll be right there forever. Uh, his music will get, I believe, will get probably more famous over the years. But uh, we want to let y'all hear just a little bit about him. So we're kind of proud of him that he was almost born in Chesterfield County. I think his mom and daddy was here maybe a year before. I heard two different accounts. I heard that he was born up uh, toward a Pageland, but then I heard that. He was not, so I don't really know which one, which account would be correct, but uh, I know that he was here. His parents were here before he was born, so he almost was born in Chesterfield County, which chance he would have been just a great singer somewhere in the, on a barn dance or something, you know. He might have never had a chance to record. But she'd have got to Columbia, South Carolina, somewhere like that, maybe. But uh, just so happened that he did what he did, so I just want to tell you just a little bit about him. Thank you for watching.